Hey everybody, it's Jessica Khalil and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something really special. I'm kind of revamping a look I did for the Face Awards. If you guys watched it or if you haven't watched it, I will add the link below in the description box. So the theme was magic and specifically magic of makeup. So what I did was a magic show. So it was three different characters. I was a magician, a witch, and then a type of like ruby sorceress kind of glam witch. And I never got to film a tutorial for it and I really love that character so I wanted to kind of revamp her and make her more of like the Christmassy like candy cane sorceress which may be like an evil Mrs. Claus. I don't know but I just kind of got inspired today and that's what I'm going to do. So let's just get started. I'm going to start off by mapping out some lines on my face where I'm going to be gluing some like rhinestones and um, like kind of crystals like plastic crystals on my face. I'm using this NYX faux white eyeliner to map out my upper cheekbones and my crystals and rhinestones. Now that I have my face mapped out, I am picking up Mayron's Clown White Light. This is a white cream makeup and it's the lighter version of their more thick makeup. <laughs> I am using this flathead foundation brush from Rouge and Rogue and this is from their Dragon Brush Line. I'm going over with the second layer because I want to make sure that this is opaque as possible and that none of my skin is peeking through. Now the next step would be to powder this face. I'm picking up Mayron's setting powder. This is just a white neutral setting powder that is going to set down my cream makeup so that it doesn't budge. Be careful not to breathe in through your nose when you wipe around your nose because let me tell you, you will start sneezing for days. Okay, now that I am all powdered down, I am taking a makeup wipe and I'm going to go ahead and wipe around the edges where I kind of overlapped because I want to make sure I have bare skin for all of the stuff I'm going to glue on my face. This is NYX Primal Colors in Hot Red and I'm just going to take this all over where I would normally contour and then some. And I'm going to start building super harsh fierce contourness going on on this face. I'm shading around each cheekbone because it's going to be easier to do it that way as opposed to when I have everything glued on my face. It's going to be just a nice kind of glowing effect coming out from under kind of the crystals and the rhinestones. So I want to make sure I'm doing this ahead of time. I'm just bringing it down to a slight point aimed at my lips. Now I'm going to start exaggerating some of my features on my face, so under my lip, around my chin, around my nose, up in my forehead, and I'm going to repeat the process using a black. I'm just picking up this brown shade here. I'm going to start building under here first, and this is going to kind of be like my contour. Like how you would normally, where you would normally put it in beauty makeup. Okay, I went ahead and pulled down some of that brown to kind of create like a fiercer contour and like make my cheekbones look like they're really protruding outward. But now I'm going to move on to some black here. I'm taking Sugar Pills Black Shadow and this is in the shade Bulletproof and I'm going to start bringing that into everywhere where I kind of already laid down that dark brown. And I'm going to start creating some shapes, kind of electrical shapes, kind of coming down into the center of my forehead. Don't worry, my looks always look horrendous before they start coming together. So stick with me, bear with me, we'll get there together. I promise. Now I'm bringing some of this dark brown to continue sculpting my jaw. I'm taking more of this dark brown and I'm going to start sculpting out my nudes. Alright, don't I look sexy? Alright, let's move on to the eyes. I'm going to start off with the base. I'm going to use NYX Vivid Brights Cream Colors. So this one is called Cyber Pop. I'm 
going to hop into NYX Primal Colors in Hot Red and I'm going to go ahead and pat down all of that red eyeshadow and I want to make sure that it is super opaque. Now I'm just kind of blending out this wing. I'm going to do several more layers of red and black and kind of build this up into like a red smoky eye. For now I'm going to move on to this black shadow by Sugar Peel called Bulletproof. And I'm going to build that into my crease and flick it out. Now I'm picking up some of that red and kind of marrying the two colors together, blending them all out, hoping for a nice gradient effect. Now I'm taking more of that hot red and I'm just concentrating it right in the center of my eyelid so that we have a type of a glowy red effect in the center. Okay, now to white out the inner corner of my eyes, I am picking up NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. This is just a white cream eye pencil. Now I'm picking up Sugar Pills White Shadow and this is in the shade Taco. And I'm just going to lay that over where I just put the white. Now I'm blending the two together with the red eyeshadow. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm using NYX Matte Liquid Liner in the shade Black. Then I'm going to do another line in the crease going into the black shadow. Moving on to the waterline, I'm picking up NYX Professional Makeup Faux Blacks Eyeliner in the shade Oxblood. I'm putting that right in my waterline. And now I'm setting it with the hot red eyeshadow. Now I'm buffing in more red and smoking it out. Now let's work on some lower lash line liner and I'm going back into this black and I'm going to create an exaggerated kind of inner corner and then swoop up to meet this with kind of like a sister wing right on the side. Okay, we have the eyeliner done and now I'm going back into some black over here into Bulletproof. I'm going to start smoking out that bottom eyeliner. Let's go ahead and move on to eyebrows because I just look like a little sad clown right now. And we want to look like a fierce Christmas sorceress, Mrs. Santa Claus with the chip on her shoulder type of thing. So I'm going to hop over to my Wolf Face Art and Effects palette. This is such an awesome palette. This is waxed base paint and it's water activated. So the minute you put water in, it is ready to go and then it dries kind of on the thicker side. So it's nice if you want something to be sturdy. It's awesome for line work and it's kind of my go-to palette. I love this thing. So now I have my Black Wolf Art Effects paint on this pencil brush and I'm going to create some very exaggerated kind of witchy eyebrows. I'm starting low. So we really want that nice wave of an arch. Now, while the black is drying, I'm going to start activating some of the white wolf art paint. And I'm going to paint in my inner corners a little bit to really make it really bright and opaque and white. And then I'm going to go in and do kind of an ombre effect in my eyebrows. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm bringing some of that white into my brows to start creating an ombre effect. Now I'm going to try to hide some of my natural hairs with some white paint and kind of double it up as a highlighter, as a brow bone highlighter. Okay, now I'm going to create a type of a highlight over my eyebrow using the white paint. add a little bit of white in our inner corners too with the hip. All right, why don't I hop off camera? I'm going to do my mascara, pop on some lashes. Okay, I got my eyelashes on. I used Rouge and Rogue lashes in the style Lady Killer. I think they're pretty cute. Now, moving on to lips, I'm not going to do my glitter lips yet. I'm going to wait till the very end so that I can talk and drink and all that stuff. But for now, I just feel like my lips are looking a little crusty. So I'm taking Kat Von D's Everlasting Lip Liner in the shade Rosary. I'm just going to coat my lips with this for now so that they don't look all nasty. Okay, I don't know if that's any better, but just for now, that's what they're going to look like. So let's move on and glue some stones on our face. So I have these like little red stones, which is what I used in the actual face awards. I just glued these all the way up. But I also have some clear ones, which I use for my stone clean. So I don't know, maybe I do a mixture. Let's see what happens. I am taking Callus Eyelash Adhesive. It is so awesome. I use it to glue anything on my face. Whenever I do, I really like it, unless it's like a really major where I need like Prosade or like Spirit Gum or something. I'm just gonna lay it down all over the surface where I want these stones to lay. And I think I'll do the light, the clear in the center and then go out to the red. So I just let this baby dry and it has to be dry or else the stuff won't stick. And be careful not to get your hair in it. Definitely do a patch test before you put this all over your skin on your face. Make sure it doesn't burn or anything. So these little crystals I just got from Michaels. I don't know, maybe they were four or five dollars, but um, they're larger ones and smaller ones. If you want to glue them onto your face, I would suggest putting the smaller ones on. Okay, it's looking and feeling pretty sticky, so I'm just gonna start off by gluing these little puppies on the center. easy. It was easy enough. Okay, so those were the crystals. Now I'm going to move on to some of the little ruby rhinestones and see how this looks. And these are literally just beads I got from Michael's. All right, guys, we have the rhinestones and the crystals glued onto our face, and now we're going to move on to some eye detailing under here, and I want to make um, like candy cane swirls. So in my original look of this kind of sorceress witch, I had just like this red kind of lace detailing draping from the eyes. I'm going to do the same thing, but give it more of like a candy cane effect to tie it into Christmas, you know. So I didn't talk about this brush earlier, but this is Artist Loft Brush, and this is a spotter brush in the number 3-0. It is so tiny and so precise. 
is my first time using it and it's really nice and precise. It was maybe like four bucks from Michaels. I definitely recommend for detail work. I think I want to aim for a diagonal candy cane that comes out and around. In this stage of the game with the detailing work underneath, I think I need to do one thing on one side, then the same thing on the other side, and then keep going one at a time. If I finish one eye completely, um, there's a high chance that the other side's not going to look similar. I mean, it's hard to make them symmetric, but I'm trying as best as I can. So now I'm trying to create a peppermint candy. Now I'm going to let the red dry and then go back in with some white detailing to kind of give it that peppermint candy cane effect. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are. I'm going back into my Wolf Art white paint and I'm using that same 3-0 brush from Artist Loft. I'm just creating some stripes on this candy cane. Okay, now that we've added the white detailing to all of the eyes, I'm going to go in with black and kind of add even more details and some shading so that the candy and the candy cane actually look like a candy cane and a peppermint candy. Now I am picking up a thin pencil brush and some white paint and I'm going to create kind of some swirls and like a whimsical forehead going on. I'm going to just add some dot detailing in my forehead. Okay, I think I am going to move on to glitter lips. Throw the wig on. Bada bing, bada boom, and we will be done. Actually, I forgot about my chest piece, so I want to do that. I want it to be kind of a sweeping, almost like a scarf. It's like a triangular bottom here, but I want it to kind of be a little bit more whimsical and kind of swoop around. So I think I'm going to lay down a layer of white first and then make the stripes with the red because I think it's easier to cover up white than it would be to cover up the red with white, if that makes sense. And this is still the wolf art paint. Okay guys, I added some more white paint. I'm in a hurry though. I have to leave because my stepdaughter has her Christmas concert. So I need to get this look wrapped up and get to step in. But anyways, we're gonna do a candy cane swirl right here. So I have my red paint and let's get started. All right, let's out quickly, quickly outline that with black. OK, 
Okay, now what I want to do is add some black shading all around. Add some white detailing and then we'll be done with the chest piece. Now I'm just kind of branching out here to create some more action for my shoulder blades. Huh, shoulders and collarbone. So all I'm doing here for the glitter lips is I am taking some red glitter here and NYX glitter glue, mix them together, add a little bit of red paint, and coat my lips. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoyed this look. I don't know what to call it yet. I'm sure I will come up with something, but I'm thinking like Christmas time, sorceress, kind of evil elf type of Mrs. Santa Claus type of thing. I don't know. I'm going to figure out a cool name for it. Maybe you guys can help me too. But if you are not subscribed yet, please do so. I love my Jessie Squad so much. You guys are so amazing and a huge reason why I keep on producing content. I'm also on social media. I am GorgeousFX on Twitter and Instagram. And I'm also on Facebook. My name is Jessica A.M. Khalil. So be sure to check me out. I love you guys as always. I'm so excited to see what kind of festive looks you all have coming down the pipeline. I love looking at Instagram this time of year because it's just so festive, so much holiday stuff, candy cane, um, just awesome Christmas stuff. So I'm so excited to see what you guys have. Thank you so much for watching. As always, lots of love and hugs from my home to yours. And until the next video, bye!